say your name and spell it. Uh, Rachel Johnson, R A C H E L J O H N S O N. Okay, good. We just need that that way we don't have to write it down, and when we put your name up there, we'll have it spelled right. Okay. So that's a, it's an easy starter. Everyone knows your name. Okay, so Rachel, how long ago did you start coming to Hope on the Mill? Um, it was the December 2011. Okay, so about two years ago. Yeah. Okay, so how did you end up at Hope Unlimited? Um, I had found out that I was pregnant in November, and I came down here in December, and then I started using the clinic in January whenever I got my Medicaid. Okay. So how did you feel when you first got here? How did, you know, what was your life like? What was going on? Uh, it was crazy. I was a senior in high school. I had just found out I was pregnant, you know. Um, Jacob and I had been together for two years, and all of a sudden we weren't together anymore. Um, Kim actually knew Jacob, so I was talking to her a lot about everything. I had came here and um, met Debbie and Stephanie, and they had really, you know, welcomed me. And I knew Dr. Cardenas because he had delivered both of my nieces, and so that was a lot easier, like a lot easier to deal with coming in knowing a couple of people, and they just make you feel welcome here. Okay, so life was obviously chaotic. A lot of unexpected stuff had happened. Um, once you started coming here, um, how did you start to feel? I felt a lot more at ease, like everything was just going to be okay, like because they assured me that it was all going to be okay, that you know God had a plan and that everything was going to work out the way it was supposed to. And what, were they right? Yeah, they were right <laughs> by far. I mean, I was 19 when I had Brantley, but I mean, he's seriously like, I couldn't imagine my life without him now. <laughs> There's no telling where I would have ended up dating Jacob and not being, not having Brantley in my life. Yeah. Okay, so you're back again. Why did you come back? Well, I found out I was having a little girl this time, so expected another one, and uh it's just, just, I had thought about going somewhere, like maybe possibly going to see Dr. Cardenas at his other office. And the more I thought about it, the more I was just like, no, I was like, they're like family down there. You know, I still come down here and visit even when I wasn't pregnant after I'd had Brantley because everybody became like family. And like, even last time, the people that I had met, the patients that I had met, um, one of them actually turned, into be a, turned out to be a really good friend and she's actually now my hairstylist. So <laughs> you just meet really good people coming here and you're with the same group of girls every week. <laughs> Okay, so um, what would you say to someone who just found out they were pregnant and didn't know what to do? I mean, would, would you recommend Hope Unlimited? And, and yeah, by far, because, I mean, not only do y'all guys have the medical clinic, but you have the counseling and anything that they could ever, like, dream of needing. You know, there's people here to help them, and if y'all guys can't help them, you know people around here who can, resources. I mean, everything is right here at the tip of your finger, so... <laughs> Well, how do you feel like you've changed in the last two years being connected to Hope Unlimited? Like, not just, you know, you had babies and, you know, we were we were here for you, but, you know, have, has there been any, if you've stopped and think about it, do you think that Hope Unlimited has been, like, a small part of any other changes in your life? It's been a huge change in my life. Like, not only do you get to meet people who are going to change your life and impact your life by the things they say and the ways they help you, but, I mean, just my life in general, because I went from being like a teenager to being a mom practically overnight because you have to. I mean, when you find out you're pregnant at a young age, you have to grow up fast. And I've bought a car. I've straightened up. I'm going, I take my GED test this week. I go to college next semester. You know, I mean, it's a lot of changes that have happened really fast. And it's all because I came down here and got help, you know. <laughs> That's awesome, Rachel. Oh, honey. <laughs> It's just really overwhelming when you sit back and think about everything that's happened in the last two years. <laughs> and then you look at that sweet face sticking out of time. <laughs> it's all been good. Yeah, when I first found out I was pregnant, I was so nervous, and I 
didn't know how I was ever going to do it, if I was going to be able to do it. And my mom looked at me the other day after two years of not being supportive and told me how excited she was to be having a second grandbaby because she saw how great I was at Brantley and like knew that everything was going to be okay, that I was going to be a great mom. And, you know, that's just all things that have changed in the last two years, you know. It's just really overwhelming when you sit back and look at it all. I didn't think we can hear footsteps in the hall, so that's why I was trying to get you stuck. Is there anything else you want to say now that I've made you cry before you go to work? <laughs> no, it's not that I can think of. So uh, let me ask you one last question. What do you think the future holds for you now? <laughs> it's definitely a lot brighter. I mean, like I said, I go this week to take my GED. I start college next semester. Um, it's just the whole, like, thing is just completely turned around, you know, in the last two years. And who knows what the next two years will bring, right, Bradley? <laughs> so, yay! <laughs> Sister. Yeah. Uh, can you stay right there just for a moment? Alex, do you need me to hold that light? I, I'd like some cutaways of Brantley and...